So I've got a breathing technique I'd like to share with you today. It's a breathing technique that I've uh, developed over the years with my clients to help improve their posture using their breathing. And if any of you have read any books on Ayurveda or you've studied Ayurvedic medicine, you'll know this is Ujjayi breath and it's a 4-4-6 four, four, breathing technique, obviously using your nose to breathe to help you reduce stress levels and help you relax. And it's a great way of improving your posture. But I've also used it to great effect with many athletes over the years. So this is me looking a little bit more fresh faced about 25 years ago, I think. So I've been using this 446 breathing technique for many years with players one to one and in team sports, even at international level, helping teams to championships. And I work full time with Nick Nurse and Nick famously went on to win the NBA championship with Toronto Raptors in 2020. So I don't think I've changed that much, have I really? Uh, so this 446 breathing technique or Ujjayi breath is all through the nose. And it's four four six so hold breathe in for four hold for four and out for six and it's a really nice way of improving your posture using your breathing you can also use this technique as you as you get more accustomed to using it to help you sleep if you're struggling to sleep using the nose to breathe helps you sleep much better it opens up the airway so if you're not good at using your nose generally it'll really help to clear clear that and help you breathe better a really nice technique to use Pre-meditation, if you do meditation techniques, use this technique just to calm your mind. If you're struggling to settle into meditation, do that. So you can use it pre-meeting just to settle your mind at start the day and just generally whenever you want to. But the reason I'm using it for posture is to get the shoulders externally rotated better, improve the line, your plumb line of your body, and crucially, get the muscles working in your back more in line with your shoulders. So it's a really clever way of improving your posture and reducing back pain associated headaches with neck and shoulder tension and even lumbar pain from your thoracic spine being too tight. So it's lots of benefits to using the technique. So what I'd like you to do is sit in your chair. You can also do it standing, which I'm going to show you in a second. So you sit in a chair without armrests on, fully back in your chair, back against the backrest, and you open your arms up to 45 degrees and that externally rotates your shoulders. You must have your palms facing forwards, not back or to the side, to open up the shoulders properly. If you have your arms too tight, you will create tension in your shoulders to make sure the arms are at 45 and obviously not too low because you won't get the benefit. 45 degrees, and then you're going to take in a breath for four, hold for four, and out for six. And you will get better at this if you struggle to start with. You'll find that you'll get better at it. If you can't do four, four, six, do two, two, four to start with, increase it slowly. And you're going to do about six cycles of breath. So you're going to be in for four, hold for four, and out for six. So we go in for four. Hold for four and out for six. And on the out breath, you might have just heard a little, little gravelly noise, and that's just constricting your airway as you breathe out. So you still use the nose to breathe out, but you're just holding it through your throat a little bit, and that makes your diaphragm and your oblique muscles and your stomach muscles work much better with that little out breath of that. Just feel it tension through your throat a little bit and you'll feel your stomach muscles work. So it's much more effective using, using that. It does take a little bit of practice, but you'll soon get the hang of it. And then repeat the cycle. If you need to take a little pause between each cycle of 446, do so. You can go straight into it with a slight second pause each time if you're ready to do it. And you'll get much better at doing this breath cycle. And you'll soon find your posture starts to improve and you get a lot of tension out of your neck, your back, and crucially between your shoulder blades. So give that a go. I'm just going to show you how to do it standing up now as well. Okay, so standing against the wall, heels against the wall. Obviously, make sure the wall is nice and clear. I've taken the picture off our wall for this one. Heels against the wall, bottom against the wall, shoulders against the wall, and head against the wall. And then open the arms up again to 45 degrees. Very important you don't go too high. Eyes to the front. So shoulder width apart with the feet, 45 degrees, and then do the same breath cycle. Hold for four, and out for six. And after five or six cycles of doing that, when you stand away from the wall, you'll find that your posture is an awful lot better. And over a period of time, that will start to become a natural habit for you, rather than being more rounded in the shoulders. Get the shoulders open, breathe in that way. Just build that into, a, into your rest breaks, into taking your short breaks, whenever you feel like you need to do it. It's a really good way. And next time I'm going to show you how to do a little exercise to improve the, the tension or release the tension between your shoulder blades by using a wall as well. So that's the breathing technique, the 4-4-6.
give it a go. Obviously, if you're having any pain with it at all, don't do it. But you shouldn't have any pain just to doing simple breathing exercises. And I hope that really helps to reduce some tension in your neck and shoulders.